I'm Amber Trendell, and I lead the market strategy team here at Oracle Food and Beverage. Welcome to our summer release webcast. We have a great program lined up for you today featuring product and solution experts who will walk through some recent symphony enhancements and new product and service offers. This session is semi live for a smooth experience. Presenters are available for Q&A live in the Q&A panel in your webcast console. Each session will be around seven to set 10 minutes in duration and available in chapters so you can quickly jump to a topic as needed after the event, share with a colleague, etc. Symphony is designed and architected to be a highly performant digital transaction platform for unified commerce. Today, we're gonna to focus on three key themes. Number one, acquiring and engaging loyal customers. Number two, informing and automating operations. And finally, empowering your teams. So with that, let's get started with our first topic led by the CrowdTwist loyalty product team. As we look at the evolution of loyalty, loyalty is not a new concept. It actually dates back to the early 1900s. As a loyalty enthusiast, we mark the clock in the 1920s when Betty Crocker introduced the first loyalty program, which was Box Tops. You may remember it from times you've engaged with it or still know it today. Box Tops is still very much current and relevant in market. What Box Tops does and has always done has engaged customers with the consumer product's product that they purchase in their supermarket and enable, enable them to clip off that little box top on the side of the package. Sharing that with their school, local church, or community group enabled that organization to redeem for monetary value. This connected a customer within their community back to the products they were purchasing for their family. In the early 1920s, when Betty Crocker introduced box tops to the market, there was no way they could have imagined that over 100 years later, the only change to the program happened actually in the last 10 years, where the clipping of the physical box top became digital. That set the foundation for loyalty and the evolution that we've seen over loyalty across industries for many years. Travel, hospitality, food and bev, retail, consumer packaged goods, all of these industries have had their own fingerprint on the evolution of loyalty, evolving from a known to an unknown ecosystem, recognizing customers, rewarding them in different ways, collecting data to personalize experiences. As we look back at clear milestones in the history of loyalty, we saw in the 90s what Tesco and Kroger were able to do collecting data at the supermarket and point of sale. Or even a decade before that, what the airline industry brought in status. Hospitality really joined that conversation in the early 2000s, but the conversation continues to evolve. Today, we see loyalty as very much an engagement vehicle for brands and consumers, not a way to give away gross margin that brands would have otherwise been able to capture. Today, loyalty is very different and it's time to rethink loyalty. Historical programs in market were very focused on purchase and transaction. It was about punch cards. I buy five coffees, I get my sixth one free. Not today. Today, that conversation has very much changed to hyper-personalized experiences between brands and consumers, to connecting with consumers, not when they're in that physical location, about to transact in a way that they otherwise would have. It's connecting with them before they arrive, making sure that the, that brand, that establishment stays at the top of their minds and the, gains the share of wallet. Today, programs are highly personalized. I'm known the minute I order that coffee, my preferences are recorded, recognized, and, in, and offered to me in future experiences. Today, programs connect consumers, not just with discounts and money back, although still important for some, but about a greater good, their mission and purpose built. They really connect that relationship density that brings emotion back into the conversation and prioritizes that as the key reasons why consumers frequent brand establishments. It's really important as brands make this change to recognize consumers and doing it across the ecosystem is essential. As a consumer, 
I don't just interact with a person at a register when I go in and order my from my favorite pizza shop. Today I may order online. I pay pick up myself. That food may be delivered to my home. The ways that consumers interact has changed very much, and loyalty has helped support that journey. Today, we think of the industry different than we once did. It's about connection, enriching, and serving, making and delivering seamless experiences, frictionless in fact, in every way a consumer wants to interact. Whether I am sitting on my couch and ordering my food, whether I've gotten dressed up and I'm showing up in the establishment with my friends on a Friday night, or sharing a family special occasion. Today, we need to recognize customers in all of the ways that they show up and choose to engage. And what CrowdTwist does is makes it really easy to fit around what you already have installed, what you're already working in the front of house, right? Whether that's your existing Symphony install, and we sit right with it. It's a seamless integration, fits right into what the front of house staff is doing, whether that's someone comes into the store and orders and they're able to scan right off of their phone, get access to everything, every one of the discounts or offers or different experiences that you might be engaging with with them. And it makes it really easy for your marketing staff to be able to create those offers and engage with your customers. And as you think about how kind of that entire ecosystem fits together, as Emily was saying, it makes it really easy for us to ensure that you're engaging with your customer, whether they're in store or they're ordering online or they had it delivered to them or thinking about how do you engage with that customer between those visits, right? How do you think about keeping yourself top of mind as they think about where am I going to go out to eat today or where should we eat next week? How do you stay top of mind, not just when they're in the venue, but in between visits? As you think about CrowdTwist and being able to install CrowdTwist with your existing Symphony install base, um, what it does is it's a really simple extensibility app. We can get it installed. Oracle Consulting and Oracle Professional Services can install this for you, get it set up, and it really easily makes it possible for your front of house staff to take care of member creation right when they're showing up. Uh, logging in registration, getting access to any of the rewards that they have, paying with points, and even making sure that it's really easy for them, if they don't have an account yet, to go get those points later. Also, if you have any disputes or any issues, it's easy for you know your management team on site to take care of and handle any of those, those disputes, handle them with points or other ways. Um, and it makes it really, really easy for the front of house staff to engage with the loyalty that your marketing team is running to create really incredible experiences for every one of your guests, whether it's in venue or it is uh, in between those visits. We try to make everything as seamless as possible and as easy for your team to use as, as needed. So thank you for your time. We're looking forward to working with you soon. Thank you so much. Thanks, Emily and Cody. If you're interested in learning more, drop us a note in the QA panel or reach out via web chat anytime at your convenience. Next up, we have a few sessions focused on informing and automating operations, including out-of-the-box third-party delivery connectors, next-gen inventory, which is packaged in the Redwood uh, user experience framework and delivered with Oracle guided learning out-of-the-box, Oracle payment cloud service with a focus on our most recent releases around reporting and new markets, and then finally, Symphony out-of-the-box kiosk, which features a beautiful and customizable HTML5 JavaScript UI. Hey there, my name's Cody. I'm the product manager for our Oracle Symphony product, and I'm here today to talk to you about delivery connectors. I'm gonna go ahead and just dive right in here. As many people have noticed, we now have a plethora of ways to get orders into the restaurant. Our guests can enter their orders on their mobile device through kiosk and others. And so we want to make sure that we are a platform that can both accept all of these orders from all of the different sources, as well as make it easy for those delivery connectors to get plugged in. So what we're going to be talking today about is all the delivery connectors that we are adding to the Symphony product. Now we add them in an iterative product, the um, iterative process. So as we add each one of these delivery connectors, we will release a new version of software with them. So today I'll be talking about three different versions of our software, the ones that have been recently released, as well as the ones that are coming out and showing you which one of the delivery connectors will be in each one. 
So without further ado, let's dive into that list. So for our channel delivery connectors, we've started out by releasing three. We've got Uber Eats, Deliveroo, and DoorDash. And then as each subsequent release comes out, we're gonna be adding more. So we'll just keep extending this list as we go. But recently we've also added to these lists, Globo and Rappi. And really the way that we look at this is we're just going to add these for each regional market as we see fit and as these connectors become available and the market bears. So in terms of next steps, we'll also be adding a Canadian delivery connector, skip the dishes. And from there, we'll just continue adding on and on and on. So I appreciate you taking the time to come today and learn a little bit about our delivery connectors and which ones are being added to the platform. And feel free to join us again as we release more in the future. And hopefully this picture can come a little bit more simple. People can get connected into your restaurant the way they need to and everyone gets the food they enjoy. Thank you so much and have a great day. Hello. My name is Daniel Schaefer, and I'm the product manager within the Oracle Food and Beverage Global Business Unit. And with me today is Michael Gale from our solution engineering team. We are very excited to talk you through our Oracle Micros Symphony Inventory solution. Symphony Inventory provides measurement and control for managing a restaurant's number one expense, food. Running optimal food cost begins with menu planning. Symphony Inventory allows for costing of each menu item to ensure there is a balance between high cost and low cost items in the menu mix. With a plan in place, restaurants can ensure they stay on target by measuring variances and analyze food cost increases proactively to ensure menus remain profitable over time. Symphony Inventory enables independent and small business operators to drive adoption of processes and inventory practices. Clarifying the responsibilities of a restaurant manager is imperative to support budget goals. Supporting inventory counts is important and required to track actual cost of sales. Defined items and count lists simplify the task for managers and ensures their focus is in the right place. The power of, Inve of Symphony inventory lies in its strong connections with Oracle Micro Symphony and reporting and analytics. Managing a business from the cloud with no software to install on site means no extra work to integrate with the point of sale. Symphony Inventory is a browser agnostic, cloud delivered inventory solution embedded into Symphony Home. It's designed to meet the requirements of restaurant operators in the food and beverage market and is designed to help food and beverage operations measure profitability and manage food and beverage costs accurately. Symphony Inventory scales to meet growing enterprise demands. There are no limitations when it comes to number of locations, simultaneous signed-in users, number of master data records like inventory items or recipes, or day-to-day -day transactions like orders, receipts, and so on. Symphony Inventory is ready for international growth. The application is translated into multiple languages as Oracle Micros and Reporting Analytics, for a consistent experience and also follows Oracle accessibility guidelines. Regardless if transactions or master data modules, workflows are very similar within the application to ensure that users feel quickly comfortable to use it within their daily operations, without any extensive training needs. Symphony Inventory also leverages Oracle's Redwood design patterns, which provides a more dynamic and more efficient user experience for our customers. The dashboard within Symphony Inventory displays critical operational information for the current business day, as well as the last or the next seven days. It shows a high-level overview of orders, receipts, returns, transfers, waste, and items with critical stock on hand levels. Within the application modules, users can add, remove, or rearrange screen components like columns and sort orders easily to ensure a clean look and feel within quick navigation at modules where time matters like entering transactions. To summarize, Symphony Inventory is an intuitive cloud-based inventory solution which helps restaurant operators to identify their food cost and increase profits. And with this, I would like to hand over to Michael Gale. Thank you, Dan. Symphony Inventory helps restaurant operators minimize the time it takes to create an order by using a simple and quick ordering solution. The ordering process reduces the amount of time to create an order, 
Once the order is complete, you can send it electronically using email or utilizing the business-to-business -business interface. Symphony Inventory efficiently handles product receiving. The system recalls the order created during the ordering process, allowing for item-by-item -item verification. Restaurant managers will easily be able to identify variances between ordered and received quantities and or items, ensuring that accurate values are entered into the application when booking the receipts. Entering accurate data is one of the most important steps in understanding stock levels and identifying potential variances. Operations managers can then make correct business decisions based on purchase analysis within reporting and analytics. Wondering why actual usage does not match theoretical usage. Usage is a major contributing factor for the difference between the two. Symphony Inventory records usage on products as they are discovered. You can create individual usage groups to meet your tracking needs. For example, breakage, spoilage, or expiration dates. Not only does this module help identify problems within the products, it can also help identify additional training requirements. Determine how your organization tracks and calculates usage on a company-wide basis, be it by shift, daily, weekly, and so on. Inform your employees so that they can keep accurate track of their usage, and this way around, everyone knows what type of usage is outstanding. Symphony Inventory provides a method for transferring inventory items from one location to another. It also gives regional and corporate management the ability to view products across all locations. With this tool, you can move overstock products from one location to another location. Moving overstock products prevents valuable cash from being tied up in inventory and at the same time ensures fresh products in each location. Few tasks are more important in restaurants than performing physical inventory counts. Knowing the quantity and value of a product on hand and the actual usage of each item will help determine the restaurant's food cost. Restaurants and operation managers can then calculate the food cost percentage, an important metric in gauging company profits. Managers will benefit from seeing the variances between actual and theoretical values, which helps identify variances caused by inaccurate entries, wrong portion sizes, untracked usage, as well as scale inaccuracies. Inventory reports are available within reporting and analytics to assist managers and operations exec executives evaluate how one or multiple restaurants have performed over a period. This is a key indicator for the future success of any organization. With master data being the foundation, Symphony Inventory's wizard template has been designed to efficiently assist in creating the foundation through a few easy steps. Symphony Inventory provides data which is market specific whether imperial or metric being the requirement. Adjust table grids to your liking, remove or add columns and change the sorting order to personal preference to ensure faster data entry. Knowing the food and beverage cost is the bread and butter for the successful operation. Operations managers, chefs and restaurant managers all know the importance of accurate recipes as this drives stock reductions based on sales and calculates theoretical food cost. Recipes are maintained centrally in Symphony Inventory to ensure that all locations have accurate ingredients with up-to-date preparation instructions and specifications. Pre-configured allergens and nutrients are available and are assigned on an item level, ensuring a recipe remains relevant. A dedicated media library accommodates image assignment for ease of reference. Linking recipes to a menu item to sell determines the theoretical usage. With Symphony Inventory, menu items are automatically synchronized from Symphony with no need to duplicate your menu. The application supports various methods of linking recipes, whether it be a recipe for dining in or takeaway where you may want to include packaging. With a strong connection with reporting and analytics, Symphony Inventory has a dedicated library of reports for all transaction types, from sales and purchasing through to your cost of sales. The reports are role-based for efficiency and relevance for any business operations. Transactions and stock depletion based on sales are tracked in real time, which allows for business critical reporting. With Oracle Guided Learning integrated into Symphony Inventory, 
you can access interactive process walkthroughs, smart tips that call out useful features, and a resource center that puts videos, documentation, and guides at your fingertips directly within the application. Oracle Guided Learning allows you to maximize the business benefits of Symfony Inventory by helping you get started quicker and making it easier to adopt new features. The Symfony Inventory new user training series offers a multi-part introduction to the solution and how you can maximize its impact for your business. Each video is built to be concise and impactful and they each focus on a key module or common inventory task. The videos are available to all Symphony Inventory users at no additional cost. And they can be accessed directly within Symphony Inventory via the Oracle Guided Learning Resource Center. Back to you, Danny. Thank you, Michael, for the great overview. And thanks, everyone, for spending time with us. We are looking forward to schedule some time to review Symphony Inventory in more detail with you. Thank you and have a great day. Welcome to the payments portion of what's new in food and beverage. We're excited to talk about our new Oracle payment solution. Now we can offer our own payment solution that is end to end, offers you the ability to work with one vendor who's Oracle to manage your business solution, your payment acceptance, your payment processing, your bank account settlement, and all your customer service. This means that you have one contract with one vendor who's Oracle. If you have an issue, the only thing you need to do is call Oracle. We offer a flat fee rate, which is transparent, which helps you with your reconciliation, your financial auditing, and your forecasting of fees. And we offer this all with no long-term contract commitment. You can work with us as little as month to month. Our solution today is available in the US. We also have availability for the UK coming this fall in 2023. Our solution offers the payment terminal. We act as the payment gateway in the acquiring bank. We provide settlement with a merchant's bank. And again, we provide support. Today, we're offering the solution that's being used from everything uh, such as burger joints to high-end businesses. Oracle Payment Cloud Service puts all of the components you need in one place. It's a unified solution, making it easy to manage everything as part of your payments infrastructure. The integrated device management portal is part of the reporting and analytics for Symphony Suite. It allows boarding of terminals to locations at the first install, and then will allow their subsequent reassignment if you're moving terminals from one location to another. Once on board, the status of the terminals is clearly displayed. It allows you a quick a statewide view of all of the devices. You can quickly search for any devices that may be offline and causing a problem. All of this means you drop the necessity for third party portals and work in between different systems, which can be a cause of error and confusion and additional administrative work. All in one place, payments working together. Symphony Order and Pay is our mobile device running on Android allowing you a convenient all-in-one option to place orders at the table with the customer. This allows you to increase guest satisfaction, for example, by being able to place drinks orders immediately at arriving to take the order from the customer. It allows you to order from the menu at the table, increases accuracy, and allows the orders to arrive at the kitchen in a timely manner without needing to walk back and forward to workstations. This will allow you to turn tables faster, therefore being able to serve more customers. It also provides convenient features for our customers, be able to offer tipping prompts, for example, either by value or percentage or allowing them to enter a custom tip. 
We can split bills at the table and print them out for the customer. We can enable QR pay. And if you'd like to more, know more about that, please scan the code. And we can print the receipt, the final receipt for the customer at the table. Symphony order and pay. So with our payment processing, it's an on, comes an online portal that is secure and be, can be accessed through a browser window that provides all of the payment reports that you need in order to show what was paid out versus how much should have been paid out based on your completed checks in your point of sale. So this is going to help you with your reconciliation as well as save you hours of time and frustration looking for discrepancies so that you can see all of the transactions against the pay payments information in a single place. So when it comes to Oracle Payment Cloud, we have a very easy to forecast cost model. So we provide a fixed fee that's a percentage of your each transaction plus a per transaction fee. So you can forecast six months out or a year out. It's not tied to say any interchange fees. And unlike our competitors or others out there, other payment processing gateways, there's really no setup fees, no fixed fees that include PCI compliance fees or incidental fees. So we make it very transparent when it comes to pricing, we make it very straightforward. So again, it's easy to forecast your costs. And Oracle Payments is leading the way when it comes to a simplified solution. So there's going to be less administrative overhead because there's one number to call. It's a single responsible party when it comes to support, when it comes to setup and consulting. So it's a very simplified solution. We have straightforward costs when it comes to pricing. So it's a pay as you go with a minimum of one month. So you can go month, month, month to month, or you can go longer when it comes to committing to contracts. So straightforward costs and then reporting. Just now you saw that we have that portal that will help you spend less time reconciling your financials and more time on your business. And then lastly, we have a fully secure and flexible solution that has end-to-end -end encryption that is PCI compliance that does support all the major card brands such as Samsung and Google Pay. So thank you for listening here and please contact your sales representative or go to oracle.com for additional information about our payment solution. Thank you. Hello, my name is William Moreland, and I'm part of the solution engineering team here at Oracle's Food and Beverage Global Business Unit. It's my pleasure to be with you today to present Symphony's native kiosk. Built using Oracle's next generation user experience, Redwood, Symphony's kiosk provides an easy to use interface for customers to place their orders quickly while still allowing them to easily make modifications. In our industry, the ability for a customer to drive their own ordering process generally results in increased spending and higher satisfaction levels. Symphony's kiosk is built to run on Oracle's existing suite of hardware. Third-party kiosk hardware is not required. Our customers can deploy the kiosk using our Express Station 410 and currently available peripherals. The same configuration used by the point of sale and e-commerce partners through SDS Gen 2 is used to drive the kiosk. There is no double handling of the configuration and names, images, prices and descriptions are consistent across all platforms using Symphony. Using HTML5 allows the kiosk to be easily customized for bespoke implementations. With our kiosk toolkit, we are enabling our customers to design their own user journeys. Now let's take a look at the kiosk operating in Oracle Sydney Cafe. To begin an order, 
I simply click Start Order. The kiosk presents the menu divided into categories on the left and the menu items on the right. Selecting a category takes me directly to those menu items within that category. However, I am still able to scroll up and down throughout all of the menu items in all the categories. Menu items are all shown with images, their name, price, and the calories linked to that item. To select an item, I click on it. I'm presented with a larger image and more information about the item, including a description, allergens, and more nutrition information. Some items have both required and optional condiments. For example, our special entree requires me to choose a pasta type and a sauce type. However, I do have the option to add additional proteins and other ingredients to this order. Here I can select my linguine with white wine butter sauce. I'm gonna add some chicken to that, along with mushrooms and tomatoes. Once I'm satisfied, I simply add it to my order. I'm finished with this item and I'm ready to check out. I click on my order to review the order that I've placed. Here I have the option to edit the items, remove them, or increase or decrease the number of items I'm purchasing. I'm going to go ahead and proceed to check out. The kiosk offers me some additional options that I might like to choose from. However, I can skip this by simply pressing skip. The last step is to make the payment. I'm going to click on the credit debit card and then follow the steps on the pin pad. Once payment has been successfully completed, the kiosk returns with my order number and the next steps to take to complete my purchase. Additionally, a receipt would print at this point. Awesome. Again, if you want to learn more about any of these topics, reach out via the QA panel. Our final segment focuses on empowering your teams. You're going to get a detailed review of the highly anticipated release of the Workstation 8 series, which delivers form and function from the unboxing all the way through to day-to-day -day operations. And finally, our latest consulting offer, including full pre-packed staging for exceptionally rapid multi-location deployments. Hi, I'm Denise Spears, and I'm the Senior Solution Manager for Micros Hardware Strategy. More than ever, business owners are focusing on the brand aesthetics and design of their establishments. To stand out from the competition, restaurants need to curate a holistic experience for customers that's both unique and memorable. From the lighting design, to the floor plan, to the color of the paint, every detail needs consideration. And now these considerations extend to the point of sale system. The modern restaurant environment demands durable, reliable technology that's designed for maximum productivity. Oracle's Workstation 8 represents the intersection of form and function, elevating customer expectations for both the look of their point of sale system, as well as reliability and user experience. The Workstation 8 showcases a subtle architectural look to seamlessly blend into any environment. And with its modular design, customers have the option to implement the Workstation on its own or optimize its full potential with the addition of the peripheral expansion module. And with multiple mount options, businesses can opt for either a traditional upright installation with the vertical stand and weighted base providing expert cable management and a clean aesthetic, or for a more subtle look, the compact design of the low profile stand allows for unobstructed dialogue between staff and customers, helping to increase engagement and personalizing transactions. With our new workstation offer, customers can design their own solution, selecting the setup and design that best fits their environment, and also feel confident that their hardware will last for years to come.
Hi everybody, my name is Wayne Harding and I lead our global enterprise program team for the Food and Beverage Consulting Group. Over the past 12 months, we've been working on a number of key initiatives to enhance our consulting offerings. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about one of these, out of the box pre-staging and deployment optimization. Traditionally, our enablement services have required on-site resource to configure and install Symfony at our customer locations. This deployment method is not only costly, but also slower to deploy to a vast estate. To address this, we've created a broader set of vertically integrated service offerings. By creating a single integrated one-stop shop, we are reducing our reliance on third-party services, enabling rapid deployment and adoption, leveraging industry expertise and solution experts, and improving consistency and the end customer experience. In addition to our out-of-the-box deployment services, which is our focus today, we've also launched two other key initiatives our Cloud Assist services, a subscription-based configuration and small change assistance model, which covers standard and configuration changes, client upgrades, standard template deployments, hypercare and staging support. We've also launched Depot Hardware Spares, which gives us the ability to hold fully staged and prepped hardware spares ready to ship directly to customer locations for field replacement. And if you'd like to know more about any of these services, please reach out to your account rep or to your consulting rep. But today we're going to focus on pre-staging and out-of-the-box deployments. We've established centralized staging centers to service North America, Latin America, and EMEA, and additional staging centers to service the JPAC region will follow shortly. So how does it work? Your hardware will be shipped to one of our centralized staging centers where it will be unboxed and quality checked. We will move the hardware through our facility production line, downloading and installing Symfony and any other client-specific configuration. Once the configuration is complete, the device and cables will be color coded labeled, go through rigorous smoke testing before being reboxed and shipped to your end location. And I'll talk a little bit more detail about some of the box contents in just a moment. What we're enabling through these pre-staging services is the ability for you to self-install the hardware at your end location. And this is something that we've not been able to offer before. We've simplified the installation process with step-by-step -step guides, video tutorials, to enable your non-technical staff to configure and implement, install the device uh, at your restaurant. So what you can see on this slide here is that each individual piece of equipment and associated cables will have the color coded labels that simplifies the installation process and prevents manual error. And each color matches up with its corresponding socket uh, on the hardware, as well as the cable itself. This slide shows an example of the easy to follow step-by-step -step guides that will be placed in the box that enables your non-technical teams to complete the installation. And these guides really are as simple as what you would find if you brought a new TV or a new laptop or any other technology to install in your home. In addition to the printed quick start guide, you'll also find a QR code pointing to our unboxing app. This app contains instructions as well as video guides, troubleshooting, tutorials to help you through the process. So to summarize the process then, your hardware arrives at our staging facility, the device will be unboxed, set up, caled, configured, smoke tested, any failures remediated, repackaged, and shipped to your end location. And on this slide, what I really wanted to share with you is a real world example of a deployment that we've uh, carried out this year, where we've deployed Symphony to over 2000 quick service restaurant locations in under five months. Traditionally, this would have taken us a minimum of 12 months to complete. This has enabled the customer to realize the benefits of Symphony across their estate far quicker than would have previously been possible. So I want to conclude by thanking you for your time today and our team are happy to meet with you to have a more in-depth discussion on our pre-staging solutions or our Cloud Assist and Depot hardware spares. If anything we've talked about today is of interest, please reach out to your account team or your consulting team. Thank you. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you found the content informative and we look forward to connecting with you soon. Take care. Hey, did you like what you learned? Make sure to check out this video or this link and of course, subscribe now.